All right, Buenos Dias, mis amigos. All right, this morning I'm going to read it. Revelation chapter 15. And uh, as I read this, I want you to keep in mind that this is happening at the end of this world. When we are lifted up into the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And maybe I'll talk a little more about that. But it's important to understand the context of what the vision is that we are seeing. Alright, so keep in mind, in Revelation chapter 1, verse 1, I think uh, people lose sight of this. I really do. But it's important to keep in mind that this is the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show us, to show us things which must shortly come to pass. All right. So these are visions that are being shown to us and they are sent and signified by the angel of the Lord unto his servant John. All right. So the angel shows John these things that are that are really being shown for us so that we might see things which must shortly come to pass okay so this is in my in my mind it's very important to understand all right so starting in verse one and I saw another sign in heaven all right so keep in mind this is another vision all right we're showing multiple visions throughout the book of Revelation and we're basically being shown the very same thing but from different angles all right, and so everything is consistent. All right, and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. All right, so again, this is consistent with everything that we've read all throughout the Bible. All right that there's a coming a great and terrible day of the Lord and that's when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven alright on that day is the great separation of the wheat and the tares from the you know sheep and the goat it's the separation of the saved from the unsaved and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. It's important, again, to remember, this is when we are up in the air with the Lord. It has to be. We can't be on the earth, because the Lord has come. All right, and the the unsaved have to still be on the earth because the plagues have not been released the wrath of God has not been released yet so this is that moment when we're up in the air and our enemy is gathered at our feet and they speaking of the us that are saved the children of God the people of God and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. All right, again, keep in mind the moment this is taking place. We are up in the air. And all the unsaved are at our feet. Gathering together. For the wrath to be poured upon them. They're going to know. All the unsaved are going to know. That this is it. That, we, that God loves us. And that they will die the second death. And there's nothing they can do about it. This is the way it's got to be. Okay. 
And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. All right, keep in mind, the temple of the tabernacle, I'm sorry, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts girdled, girded with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials full of the wrath of God who liveth forever and ever. All right, so we're building up to that moment. All right, when the, the unsaved will be destroyed forever. And the temple is filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power. And no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. All right, so we got an interesting moment here. And I think really, to me, the best way to understand this is to know that we're up in the air with the Lord. And there's going to be that moment when our when our enemies, our, the unsaved, are presented at our feet. And the wrath of God is poured upon them. Alright, and then that's when, after that, that's when the new city of God comes down onto the earth from heaven comes down onto the earth all right and so it, to me it's important to know that to understand that this is consistent with everything that we're reading all throughout the bible even from genesis 3 verse 15 when the lord said unto the serpent i will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel See, the Lord is up in the air and he stomps his foot on the head of the serpent, destroying evil forever. So when this is taking place, notice it starts out here, a sign in heaven, right? And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten victory over the beast. This is in heaven. This is when we are lifted up. And the and it's right before the wrath of God is poured upon the unsaved. It's uh, it's amazing in my in my mind. It's amazing. It's a it's a, a spectacular moment, and it's recorded here in Revelation 15. It's telling us exactly what will shortly come to pass.